Hey everyone, it's Brad here. So we're gonna do a really cool experiment today about how to do day and night on Earth and the seasons of the Earth. So what you need is some sort of ball, and I have an orange here, a stick to put the ball on, we'll do as so, because this is gonna act as our way of turning the Earth. Now we need a texture. So the texture is gonna make our equator. So what we want to show is how day and night and the seasons change in the different hemispheres because of our tilt. And it's all due to our tilt. So we need to see the equator to see that. So we have our ball, which is our Earth with our equator. And we need a torch or a light, and that's gonna be our sun. Turn on the light. Ta da! So now, if we take our Earth, our Earth spins. Our Earth spins every 24 hours. And as we spin, there's a side that's in day, as you can see here, there's a side that's in night. And as the Earth spins, the daytime side is now in night, and the nighttime side is in day. And this is happening every 24 hours as we spin around in space. But there's also something else that happens. Our Earth goes around the sun every 365 days. We call this a year. But more importantly, as the Earth goes around the sun, it goes around at a tilt. Our Earth is actually tilted at 23 degrees, a little over 23 degrees. Now, why is this important? So how, do the, and this, how, how does this relate to the seasons? Well, our Earth doesn't get closer or further away to create the seasons, it's all about the tilt. And what do you notice immediately as I tilted my Earth? The top, which is the Northern Hemisphere, has more light. The bottom, which is the Southern Hemisphere, has less. So it has more light, so it has more daytime. And if it has more light, it has more heat, so it gets hotter. That sounds an awful lot like the summer. But what about in the winter? What's happening in the bottom? The bottom's getting less light, so the nights and day, so the days are shorter, the nights are longer, and the days have less heat. That sounds a lot like winter. And what happens as I move the Earth around the sun? Now the bottom is facing the sun. So now the bottom is in summer, and the top is in winter. The bottom's getting more light and more heat, the top is getting less light and less heat. So the seasons are directly related to how this tilt happens. So when it's summer in the Southern Hemisphere, it's winter in the Northern Hemisphere. When it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, it's winter in the Southern Hemisphere. But what about spring and fall? Well, what happens if I go here, or maybe we'll go over here. Look immediately, there's about the same amount of light on the top and bottom. And that's because the sun is positioned such that it's not going more towards the top, the northern hemisphere, or the bottom, the southern hemisphere. It's pretty much equal. And that's actually what the name equinox means, equal. There's equal light and therefore equal heat. So you notice that spring and autumn are kind of in between summer and winter. But let's also take a look at the equator. Look at how the light on the equator changes. It's pretty much the same year round. So along the equator, because of the tilt, the days are pretty much the same year round, and therefore the heat's the same year round, so the temperature's the same the year round. And have a think about it, in places like Darwin in Australia, the temperature's fairly similar in winter and summer, but in places like Tasmania, it gets colder in the winter and then warmer in the summer. Because we can take a look at how the poles work. So let's take at the North Pole. We're in the summer in the Northern Hemisphere. And what do you notice the North Pole? It's in continuous daytime. What about the South Pole down here? It's in continuous nighttime. And as we go around, it flips. The South Pole now has continuous daytime and the North Pole has continuous nighttime. So at the extreme ends of the summer and winter, what we call the solstices, the poles have either continuous daytime for about a month or continuous nighttime for about a month. And it's amazing because this is all because of the tilt of our planet. And if we didn't have a tilt like this, and that's like Mercury, Mercury doesn't have a tilt, there essentially be no seasons. Even Mars has a tilt at about 25 degrees, so it has seasons. Now, there's some other weird planets like Uranus. Uranus is actually on its side. It's at 97 degrees as of tilt. So it's spinning through space like this. What would the seasons be like on Uranus? Be pretty strange, wouldn't it? It would not work the same way as they do here on Earth. And so just because of our tilt and the sun is why we get the seasons that we do. So have a go at home. Get a bowl and some sort of stick and draw your equator. 
have a light, some sort of torch to be your sun and see how day and night changes and how that changes with the seasons because that's what our Earth is doing through space. So have fun and I'd love to see the results.